I'm Joel Kramer. I'm the uh, acting chair of the Special Interest Group in Behavioral Neurology. So one of the fascinating things about behavioral neurology is that it really sits at the crossroads of multiple disciplines. I mean, it captures not only neurology, but neuropsychology, psychiatry, cognitive neuroscience, and basic biology. So this, in this particular special interest group for behavioral neurology, I think that we integrate multiple facets of behavioral neurology that demonstrates the richness of the field. So for example, we have one very exciting talk on consciousness and what might be the underlying biology of, conference, uh, of consciousness. Uh, we have a, a you know, great talk scheduled uh, about brain behavior relationships and how the frontal lobes might be mediating executive functioning. We have a couple of presentations that are now thinking about how uh, TMS might be influencing brain connectivity. Um, we have Anne McKee who's talking about chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is an exciting new area of behavioral neurology that, that is linking sort of lifestyle choices and, and head trauma with some pathological data. So in this special interest group set of presentations, I think you'll get a feel for the richness of the uh, of behavioral neurology and how it serves to integrate so many uh, disciplines and helping us understand a little bit about how the brain mediates behavior.